Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about how to deal with not so nice people on Star Stable and oh boy do I have a lot of stories to tell. Um, I'm gonna tell you maybe one, maybe two uh, stories about stuff that have happened to me and how I dealt with them. I feel like every player will go through this at one point if you are, you know, the active kind of player who joins a lot of clubs. Um, so yeah, if you are struggling with mean people on Star Stable, I hope that this video really does help you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now my first tip for you is to always be alert and on the lookout for people who want to get you into trouble. Now unfortunately I've met a lot of these people who want to jump at anything they see you do that might be wrong. Um, I'm going to tell you the story very vaguely. It happened in a club a while ago. And I just laugh at it looking back because it is so incredibly funny to me what happened. So basically this member sees that I do something that is, first of all, not hurtful, um, not bad in any sort of moral way. But it could have gotten me into trouble with a certain person. Not going to go into depth, <laughs> but it was not wrong. Again. There was nothing bad. I'm not, I wasn't hurting anyone. I wasn't. This was like purely about me. No one else. And so they asked me a question to, I'm assuming, try to get some information they could use against me. I was smart, though. Like, why would I give them that information? And I didn't give it to them, right? They got. They were a little frustrated with me, but that was it. A week later, I get a message from their friend who somehow builds a small story around this topic that had to do with me which i was very shocked that they knew um and they asked me a very similar question that was phrased slightly differently uh, and i just knew that very second what was going on between those two people and oh my gosh, I just laughed so hard and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't give you that information. Um, so that's just one of the like sneaky things that can go on sometimes in this game between people, between friends. So always be alert for yourself. Now, my second tip is to always have good persuasive writing skills. I cannot tell you how many times this has literally saved me from countless situations sometimes people will um make claims about you or things like that especially in clubs and if you can write a good paragraph with valid reasoning good grammar and lots of professionalism people will take you a lot more seriously they will respect you and hopefully they will listen to you a little more and again saved me so many times if you do not have very good or strong writing skills then you should definitely work on those because they will help you so much in the future and finally my last tip which oh my gosh i absolutely love is to be better than the other people i think it's so easy to get caught up in what the not so nice people on this game do uh specifically in clubs because that's where i've experienced it the most if you can show off your own skills obviously not in a mean way um but if you can rise above with either your talent in dressage or your talent in commanding or just your talent in being a good person um it will give you such a feeling of success without any guilt. The first reaction is almost always to fight back, but sometimes it's even more rewarding to fight back in a way that is not through words, but is through the way that you succeed, uh, whether it's with your dressage or your personality. It is just so 
much stronger than words if you can win that way. So instead of getting into arguments with mean people or, you know, feeling helpless, do these tips and I really hope that they will be tools for you to fight back against not so nice people because I've been there. I know how it is and I wish you the best of luck. So I hope that this video really did help you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.